Jam One! Welcome to Jam One Friday Night Service. I am Pastor Hannah. It's so great to see you guys once again. You guys, isn't it getting really hot these days? I know some of you guys just love staying at home because of the heat, or some of you guys might be suffering at home because it's hotter at home wherever you are. I know some of you guys are eating a lot of ice cream to make yourself cool or nangmyeon cold food. Whatever it is that you're doing, good job, but make sure to not eat too much ice cream or too much cold food because you might have stomach ache, all right? Well, today we're going to go through book of Matthew. Book of Matthew is in the very good New Testament. It's the very first book in the New Testament. Before we share the word of God, we are going to praise Him. Make sure to all stand up. Stand up. Come on, you guys, stand up. All right. Are you guys ready to praise Him? Great. Let's praise Him with all of our heart, soul, mind, and strength. All right, I'll see you guys after praise time.
hope you guys had awesome praise time. I know it gets hot when you move around, but when you are praising God, make sure to do it with thankful heart. Make sure to do it wholeheartedly because God will receive your praise. All right, you guys, at this time, we're going to open up our Bible to Matthew chapter 7, verse 24, and we're going to read verse 25. So two verses together. Matthew chapter 7, verses 24 and 25. Are you guys ready? Remember, Matthew is in the New Testament. It's the very first book. All right, if you're ready, we'll read it together in one voice. Ready? Begin. Matthew chapter 7, verse 24 to 25. Anyone who listens to my teaching and follows, it is wise. Like a person who builds a house on solid rock. Though the rain comes in torrents and flood waters rise and the winds beat against that house, it won't collapse because it is built on bedrock. Amen. Tintinan Bai Wee, Chiyun Jip Gatayo, Mate Bogum, Chiyun, Yishib Tajor, Yishib Ojar Maisim. De Bari Tuko, 그대로 행하는 사람은 바위 위에 집을 지은 지혜로운 사람과 같다. 비가 내리고 홍수가 나고 바람이 불어 그 집에 몰아쳐도 그 집은 무너지지 않았다. 왜냐하면 그 집은 바위 위에 지어졌기 때문이다. 아멘. 소망이가 텔레비전을 보고 있어요. 소망아! 엄마 일하는 동안 동생하고 사이좋게 잘 놀고 있으렴. 네, 엄마 알겠어요. 엄마는 소망이에게 동생을 부탁하고 주방으로 가셨어요. 그런데 소망이는 동생과 놀지 않고 계속해서 텔레비전만 보고 있었어요. 동생의 울음소리에 엄마가 뛰어오셨어요. 소망이는 엄마의 말씀을 잘 알아듣고 씩씩하게 대답은 했지만 그 말씀대로 행동하지 않았어요. 예수님께서 이렇게 말씀을 듣기만 하고 행동하지 않는 사람에 대해서 말씀하셨대요. 우리 다 같이 함께 말씀으로 들어가요. 슝! 많은 사람들 속에 예수님이 계셨어요. 예수님은 사람들에게 말씀하셨어요. 하나님의 말씀을 듣고 그 말씀대로 살아가는 사람이 하나님 나라에 들어갈 수 있단다. 사람들은 예수님의 말씀에 쫑긋쫑긋 귀를 기울였어요. 예수님은 계속해서 말씀하셨어요. 하나님의 말씀을 듣고도 말씀대로 살지 않는 사람은 모래 위에 집을 지은 사람과 같단다. 비가 내리고 바람이 불면 그 집은 쉽게 무너져 버린단다. 예수님은 그런 사람을 어리석은 사람이라고 말씀하셨어요. 하느님의 말씀을 듣고 그 말씀대로 사는 사람은 튼튼한 바위 위에 집을 지은 사람과 같단다. 비가 내리고 바람이 불어도 무너지지 않고 끄떡없단다. 예수님은 예수님의 말씀을 듣는 것도 중요하지만 들은 말씀대로 사는 게더 중요하다고 말씀하셨어요. 말씀을 듣고 지키는 사람은 마치 바위 위에 집을 지은 사람과 같아서 비바람이 불어도 끄떡 없는 집처럼 어려운 일이 닥쳐도 잘 이겨낼 수 있어요. 하지만 말씀을 듣고 마는 사람은 흠 모래 위에 지은 집과 같아서 피가 내리고 강물이 불어나며 와르르 하고 무너지는 집처럼 어려운 일이 생기며 금방 실망하고 포기하게 될 거예요. 사랑하는 젊은 친구들 예수님의 말씀을 잘 들어야 해요. 그런데 말씀을 잘 듣기만 하고 행동하지 않으면 
무슨 소용이 있을까요? 아무 소용이 없어요. 들은 말씀대로 살아야 튼튼한 바위 위에 지은 지처럼 튼튼하게 자랄 수 있어요. 예수님의 말씀을 잘 듣고 말씀대로 살아가는 우리 귀한 친구들이 되어요. Have you guys ever went to beach before? I see a lot of hands going up, up, up. You guys have? Awesome. I live close to beach too, and when I go to beach, I see beautiful water, waves, I see sand, seashell, I see people, and so forth. Well, due to coronavirus, I know we have to stay inside, but I know some of you guys still go out to beach, right? Well, I want you guys to think about the days that you went to beach with your family or your friends or maybe it was part of your trip. I want you guys to think about writing a small letter or even drawing something on the sand close to water. Maybe you could draw a little heart, maybe you could write your name, whatever it is. Well, what did you guys write? Your name? Your mom's name? Your dog, heart, star? And now I want you guys to think about ocean waves. When it comes to the sand and when it goes over your letters and your drawings, what happens? Good, it washes away and you're not able to see your drawing or your letters, your words. Well, I'm talking about this specifically because we're talking about solid rock and sand in this verse. Jesus talks about building a house. Question is, where do you want to build your house? Do you want to build your house on top of the rock? Or do you want to build your house on the sand? Some of you guys say on the rock. Some of you guys say on the sand. Jesus says this. He said, if you build your house on top of the rock, when the wind comes, when there is a lot of water pouring down, when there is thunder, waves, Whatever it is, that house is going to stand firm because the rock will not move. But you build your house on the sand like this. And when there is a lot of water, wind, and when you see waves of water crashing, guess what? The sand will move away. And what happens to the house? It will get destroyed. So then where do you want to build your house? Of course, on the rock, the solid foundation. Jesus says that we should build our house on the solid rock. Now, is he talking about actual rock, building our house on an actual rock? No, he's talking about our spirit being, our spiritual well-being, meaning we want to have solid foundation that is the Word of God. If you don't have the solid foundation to build your faith, if you don't, then it will shake and destroy. But if you have good foundation, solid foundation, which is the Word of God, that's the truth, then your foundation will not shake when the hard time comes, when the wave crashes, when you face a difficult time in your lifetime, you will stand firm in the Word of God. Gem 1, in order for us to stand firm in the Word of God, not only we should listen to the Word of God, but we should live according to the Word. How do we do that? Whatever the Bible tells us to do, we simply obey. That's how we do it. Right? It sounds very simple, but it's hard. It's challenging. That's why we gotta always
always abide in the Word of God and ask God to help us and to lead us. All right, gentlemen, at this time, we're going to put our hands together. We're going to close our eyes to pray. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, we thank you so much for teaching us about the firm foundation. We want to build our house on the rock. Help us to not only listen to the word of God, but help us to live our lives according to the word of God. Jesus, we love you. And in your precious name we pray. Amen.